decipher between the the two, the two or the two. four or oh. whatever. How do I get to previous comments? What do I have to click? If one's come. Do you want to get on to him and say when's the next one's coming? Because we're too excited now. <coughs> yeah. It's going to be at least six months, obviously. Six That's months? Good to you, but, um, unfortunately, I can't really Sort them two out and you'll see that the fuel pump will be activated. If people are interested, they'll just say, oh. Right, we're in the yard. It's Friday. I'm doing some editing. Curly's just nipped over the shop to get some milk because he wants a cup of tea. Right. Do the tea, Seb. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? This is my space. Oh, oh. You're calling me that. I thought you were making a cup of tea. Oh, you can is that a cup of tea machine? You have to plug it in first. Hold on. Oh, you click the switch on the left one. No, plug it in. Oh. Right, now you've got to click the switch. Yeah. Jesus, Sarah. Come on, you've got to be on the ball. Anyway. Just be on so, the uh, this morning, Sarah, after, Hello. we need to get the Z-Tech on auto trader again. Done. Where's that? In the bathroom. Uh, so Z Tech on the auto trader again. So we need to go on uh, Piston Head, Facebook, Google. Yeah. And have you got anything running on eBay at the minute? Yeah, Fiesta. Is the Z Tech on there? Is it? Yeah. Okay. Just put it on and we also need to make a you note, know, put every uh, put the trade vehicles on the trade on the Facebook trade page. So if anyone else wants to put anything on the Facebook trade page, uh, you're more than welcome to. Just put it in the top. Valley uh, Autos trade to trade. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, that so they've got to be on there. The trailer's already on, isn't it? Is the trailer on different places? Do you want uh, to put the trailer the on eBay as well? Maybe. Let's just get there? everything marketed out there today and get it gone. Yeah, so we're still working on the website. It does look pretty good. We'll inform you more on that as she progresses because it is looking nice. Uh, also today between 10.30 and 11.30 we have the... 9.45. 9.45. 9.45 and... Mm -hmm. 10.45. Yeah. Uh, we have the merch uh, arriving between... Put that underneath the thing. Under there. Yeah, 9.56 and 10.56. Yeah, we've got the new hoodies coming, so we're excited about that. But yeah, we're getting that done. That number plate's about to fall off there, so it, it? someone else is going to fall off. Don't do that now. It's because you're putting that underneath it. Don't do that now. It's melting the... Uh... Oh, wait. No, it's not, because I only moved that yeah, yesterday. Yeah, oh. it's melting the, the thing, on it? Yeah, it's a bit weird, that. You need to make it a bit uh, straight. No, because that just came off. No, anyway. the peak's rising and it's melting the sticker. I know what sticker. happens. Yeah. So that's exactly what it is. You need to move that or move the heater. I'll move you in a minute. This is, that's changed. Uh, so we might get a cup of tea at some point. There's a lot going on, as you can see this morning. It's all hustle and bustle. Um, the, I've dropped the mini down to the workshop. That's getting um, repaired uh, today, hopefully. The, what else has happened? Sneaky on me. I can't think what else has happened. I've got to spend all morning editing. Hopefully, everyone keeps quiet so I can get on with you. Is that going to happen? Interrupting me all the time. Because he keeps having a hissy fit. Yeah, he had a hissy fit because I just have to do it. You don't realise this takes me about four hours to do for one series, for one episode. Um, and if everyone's talking in the background, it could take six hours. So. Right, so I'm going to crack on. Stress. Well, I can't remember what Morn says. Well, it's not yours. Yeah, I know. Not. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Why? I've got some editing to do. <laughs> oh, Snotted or snorted? Snotted. I've got some editing to do here. There you go, baby. So welcome to this. Mm. If people are interested, they'll just say, oh. That's Sarah's. We that? could do a catwalk later in the living room if the other one's come. Do you want to get on to him and say when's the next one's coming? Because we're too excited now. <coughs> yeah. Got asked. A couple of times we got asked now in the comments about. Uh, let me see if I can find the comment actually. See if I can just pull this up. How do I get to previous comments? What do I have to click? 
Marietta. Right, thank you for the advice you've given me. Where would you say would be the best place to look for cars? So, the first one, where would the best place to be to look for cars? Now, you can buy at auction if you're starting out, but if you don't know enough about cars, it could be a bit of a risky one. Also, to be fair, it's bad enough if you do know about cars. Auctions can be a bit dicey. I think the best, personally, place to get a car from to buy one is probably the auto trader i would say that's where we've been looking lately isn't it it is indeed you find one that's reasonably priced check it out use vehicle score to ch do your little checks then phone them up if you set your settings on auto trader for newly oh. newly listed most recent just keep refreshing it keep looking 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 eventually one will pop up phone them straight away if it's up for say three grand and you think well that could be worth you know three and a half grand then just phone them up and say look would you take two and a half grand for it now there's no harm in asking they might say no i'm sorry i'll leave it or on the other hand they might want to get rid of it so it's, it's worth an ask i would say auto trader is the best place to find them because they're more genuine if you go on facebook there's a lot of scams obviously as you know a lot of a lot of uh a lot of you know a lot of tat on there as well i'm not saying that there's not all tat because there is some good cars on there there is but it's hard to pick the good ones it's out it's very hard ones. to decipher between the the two the two or the two. four or oh. whatever due to being a career for my wife i don't have much to play with uh, would uh your advice be getting a pitch an industrial unit or off the drive thank you for your help and good luck uh, happy advice good luck for this year now 100 percent do it off your drive buy them on auto trader find them on the right rightly priced haggle with them make them an offer over the phone say if it's in the condition that you're saying it's in as good as what it's meant to be you know come over there would you take two and a half grand for it now so for instance 500 quid below book um well which would be a thousand quid below book because they're already pricing it low anyway uh, and if you think you can do it, do it. Go with your heart. Go with your gut. Definitely, one hundred percent. Go with, go with your gut. Um, and uh, and just make sure you have a good look over it, over it, uh, which gives you a better option and a, a better chance of buying a better car rather than at auction. So you're ahead of the game already. Then just put it up for sale. Sell it privately because it's cheaper. Back on Auto Trader because uh, if you're motor trade. The premium does jump up, doesn't it? It does. Um, sell it privately and then sell it off your drive. Hopefully you'll make some money. So, yeah, thanks for that comment. That is the most recent one. I have had some other ones. So if I haven't, any more? If I haven't addressed your comment, um, I'm sorry about that. But you can send it over again. But it's just because we get so many, it's hard to... I can't do every one of them. We may do a, uh, a q and A. I I know a lot of other channels are doing Q&As. I mean, I don't know how you do it, how you would do it, but maybe if you have got a question for us over uh, the period from this video to the next video, put it in the comments. We'll why make don't it we out give it a bit of a bigger time scale. What, so we've got a few to do? Yeah, so but don't you don't find it a bit boring when you're watching Q&As? You, just, you don't want to do loads, do you? You just want like a few and then... Okay. Do you know what I mean? You don't want to sit there through q I don't know. I don't sit there through q and You do. Not all the time. Not like if it goes on for 20 minutes, I'm bored. Do you know what I mean? Just like a quick five questions. Fire round. Quick fire round. And, um, and then move on. And then we'll do some next time. So if you've got any questions for a QA, and a put it in the comments. We'll make, so we'll make a list. And then we'll bring them up in the next video. Me answering a call to a customer and just saying, look, I can't do it for six months, blah, blah, blah. And then what I want to do on my video, I just want to explain to, like, people how people can just burn you and think they can just get somebody good straight away and that palaver, if you know what I mean. Okay, I see where you're getting at, yeah. So, so, see what I'm saying? So I've got to ring you up. To say, 
so I'll go, hello, is that um, full of carpentry? And I'll just go, yeah. And just say you want a job doing, or you can be anything, anything to do with work. Yeah. So I need you, I need, I need someone to start tomorrow. Okay. And then the conversation for, should hopefully roll from so there. I don't like go up raffle arm, but then go okay, th thanks anyway, and uh, put it. Mm, I'll go boy, and then that's it, and then I'll explain why I'll be after the phone call. Okay. So he's got to try and be sensible shall for I, five minutes. Shall I do it now then? Uh, yeah, just give me phone him back in up thirty seconds so I can set the GoPro up. Okay. All right then. Oh, I'll speak to you a bit. See you in a bit. Ta-da, So, what I've got to do there, you've met Jay from Fuller's Carpentry, who's a carpenter's journey. Um, he come and fitted the toilet in there and everything else. Oh, dear. Daisy. Uh, yes, yeah, so... Who was that? We're actually doing... He's actually filming now, and he needs someone to ring him up so he can do, like, a, a, a bit of a... I don't know what he's doing, but I've got to ring him up. So let's see how this goes. So you can only imagine uh, what's going to happen here, can't you? If you put yourself in the picture, he's there now with his camera rolling. I'm ringing him up. Just like you. Just like, <laughs> we're, we're rolling, he's rolling. I'm going to ring him up now and see how this, work, how this pans out. Let's have a look, let's find his number. Right, we ready for this? Here we go. <coughs> I'll be telling him on the phone. Oh. Hello. Hello, is that Fuller's Carpentry? It is, yeah. Uh, I was just wondering, um, I've been let down and I've got a kitchen that needs to uh, be fitted tomorrow because I've got the plumbers coming on Sunday. I was wondering whether you'd be able to help. Uh, has, has, the car, has the kitchen been started or is it literally um, to a point where if your person that was doing the job, has it, are they just not started at all? Or? No, well, it, basically it was, um, it was a labour price only that they gave me. So I've had the kitchen delivered, which is in my garage. And um, and he was meant to be coming tomorrow because the plumber's coming on Sunday to uh, to fit the sink and pipe pipe everything up. Right, I see. Um, I'd love to help, and I'm I'm, I'm sorry to sort of uh, let you down, but unfortunately I'm, I'm quite booked up. I'm I'm going to be at least six months, obviously. Six That's months. Good to you, but um, unfortunately I can't really help you out uh, at this time. Um, you might struggle getting someone to do it tomorrow, um, but you know if, well, if you're I struggling to find somebody, uh, I, I in have, a couple of weeks. I have spoke. Sorry to interrupt, but I have spoke to someone on Facebook Marketplace who, who did say they can start Monday, um, and they were actually half the price of the uh, of the other guy that was coming tomorrow. But I need it done tomorrow. Right. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I can't do it tomorrow. Like I said, I've fully booked up six months in advance, but in the next couple of months, give us a ring back and I might be able to help, help out with you. Okay, well, thanks anyway. No problem, thanks for your call. Okay, bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye, -bye. Well, there you go. If you want to see how that gets on, go over to Fuller's Carpentry channel. Is it called Fuller's Carpentry now, or is it our Carpenter's Journey still? Uh... But anyway, get over there and have a look and just say that you come over from Valley Autos. Good morning. Right, what we're doing this morning is shorting out the relay, or oh, shorting out the relay for the Vauxhall Tigra. And we're gonna try and empty the fuel tank completely. So in this case, uh, the two purple ones are the fuel pump relay and I believe it's this one and you need to short out the two 68 and 67 I think it is let's have a look oh, 86 87 short them two out and you'll see that the fuel pump will be activated
once I'm in the office on my own today, a uh, bit of a nightmare because Sarah's still not very well. Uh, she started to get a little bit better and then she just dropped down worse again. So she's at home in bed, I'm afraid. So I um, hope she gets well soon. That's all I can say because it's uh, it's going on for too long now. But yeah, I've got to, the, the show must go on. Uh, I'm looking for cars on the auction this evening. There's not a lot there again. It's looking very quiet on the auction front. Uh, like I say, we do want to be looking at something a little bit more mid-range price now. Um, good news though on that aspect, the Mini, I can pick the Mini up today. That's all been done. As Sod's Law happens, the, when they um, the fit the exhaust, they've done the springs, but when the springs broke, it went through the bloody ABS sensor wire on the back. Um, which, you know, it could only happen, couldn't it, to me? Um, so we're on a tight budget, so now we've had to put an ABS sensor on. I'd say there could possibly be a noisy wheel bearing on the front, but I'm going to have a look at it and look at it myself. The car's coming back today anyway, and uh, I'll see whether it is that or not. I thought that it was the brakes because it had been sitting there for four years. I thought the brakes were binding slightly, but they haven't checked it out. They've just said, oh, have a look at it and see what you think, and then bring it back if you want a bearing done on it. I'm waiting on some parts of the Tigra still. Uh, that's still not, not done yet. We've got to put the fuel lines back together to see if it starts, and then when it starts, I'm actually, I think I'm going to call um, uh, one of the subscribers. I'm going to give him a ring, Buzz. So if you're watching, Buzz, get in touch if you if you if you're passing, uh, and I can run pass. I can run through a few things with you on that to, to see if you want to come and have a look at the roof and the boot because uh, there's a bit of something going on there. I'm not quite sure how whether you know whether there's a fuse gone or a sensor gone, but maybe you'll you'll be able to help me out on that one. I think that is all that's happened. It's been very, very quiet. I uh, don't know whether anybody else in the game has found it still quiet, uh, but we are struggling a little bit at the moment. But now is the time probably to buy the vehicles because people aren't selling, so they're not buying. And that's that's pretty much how the game works, isn't it? So you usually find if there's, if no one, if uh, sales pitches like this aren't selling a lot, then they're not going to be buying new stock, are they? Unless they've got poles and whatnot in loads of space, uh, which is which is unfortunately not <laughs> not our case. So uh, great news on the last video; it's done really well. I didn't expect it to do that well. It's got six thousand uh, six thousand views on it, roughly, um, and it's ranking quite high. And it's still getting views on it daily. And we've had loads of lovely comments off you all, so I really appreciate. That's the main thing: interaction with, with the people that are watching. So if you're all uh, Obviously, if you haven't joined the Valley Gang already, then get on board, get subscribed, drop us a comment, and uh, enjoy the banter down in the comments. Right, sorry if there's been a short one, guys, uh, but I've got no sidekick, as you know. Uh, it has been noticed in the comments. Hopefully, she will be back with us uh, very soon. Um, what day we are now, so it's Tuesday, maybe she should be in the Friday video, let's fingers crossed, and we'll see you there.